this unworthy priest, that I may preach with humility, with love from the heart, and that people who listen, listen with their hearts, not just with their ears. Come, Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit. Mga kapatid, palakpakan natin ang Panginoon. Yeah. September, October na. Malapit na po ang Pasko. Once more, wala ba kayong mga kamay? <laughs> Alam nyo, dyan ako bilib sa Pilipino. Tinatanong mo lang, wala ba kayong mga kamay? Magpapalakpak na siya. The generosity of Filipinos. Yung sige. Tanoy mo sa ibang mga ba- kababa- bayan yan, wala ba kayong mga kamay? Magagalit pa sa'yo. Uh, ganon. Tayo, you know, it's so... It's a beautiful trait. For me, that's a spontaneous generosity ng ating mga kamay. Very important. You have two hands, yes? The left and the right. Hold them up high nga. Clean and bright. Clean ba yan? Clap them softly. One, two, three. Clean little hands are good to see. Today, the Lord talks about hands. Mga kapatid, if you look at your hands, the first thing you realize is there are people who have no hands. May mga tao pong walang kamay. O isa lang kamay. God gave you and me two hands. And these hands tell a lot of stories. Maraming kwento itong kamay na ito. Pero klaro po ang Panginoon sa atin ngayong sa gospel. Kung yung mga kamay mo na yan, ayan ang nagiging dahilan na ikaw ay nagkakasala. Mas mabuti pa ang putulin mo na lang yan. Very strong warning. Mas mabuti nang wala kang kamay kaysa lahat yan dadali mo sa impyerno. Paalala po ni Lord ngayon sa atin lahat. Marami kasi sa atin ang focus natin dito sa bulsa, kung ano-ano, wala sa puso. I'll tell you a little story. Some, some time ago, pumunta po ako sa Spain for a pilgrimage, so, mga 10 years ago. Mayroong bus stop doon, tapos may nakita po akong coffee machine, no? So, coffee machine. Ah, habi ko, magaling ako mag-Espanyol. Oh, hindi naman. 101, Spanish 101. So, binasa ko yung instruction. Mako, talaga, okay, alam ko na. Tapos, may pera naman ako, may coin. Okay, mayamaya. Nidigay ko na yung mga coins. And I press the button. Nag-grant ako. Ang ganda, success. Nag-drip na yung coffee. Ako, I was so happy with my knowledge my money hindi ko na dinig may sumisigaw sa likod yung owner ng store sabi latasa 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 just ko po nakalimutan kong inilagay ang tasa ito ang tasa <laughs> hindi ko na ilagay na sayang lang yung coffee yung pinaka-importante, yung pang nakalimutan. Maaari pong mangyari sa buhay natin. You're so good. Knowledge, wow, you're so full of knowledge. Money, your pockets are full. You've done all that. Maybe you're popular even, powerful. But in the end, you wasted it. Nasayang lang Kasi Hindi nasalo ng puso In the end 
what matters is the heart, mga kapatid. You know, sana, sana lang po, at the end of our lives, sana, we don't have regret na punong-puno ang ulo ko, punong-puno ang mga bulsa ko, pero empty pala ang puso ko. Please think about it, mga kapatid. Ito po ang paalaala ng Panginoon sa ating natin. What does it profit you and me? You gain the whole world. We lose our soul. Parang, remember, time, talent, and treasure, sinayang mo para sa sarili mo lang. That's what it means. Di ba yung puro ka pera, Puro ka dada, ang puso, ang puso, walang karga. One more time nga. Puro ka pera, puro ka dada, ang puso, ang puso, walang karga. Ito po ang paalala today ng ating Panginoon. Radical. In fact, yung first reading, ito po. Makinig po kayo. Mga mayayaman. Not necessarily all the rich, but those who are filthy rich. Yung yumaman sa pamamagitan ng kasamaan. Listen to this. Come now, you rich. Weep and wail over your impending miseries. There is a warning from our Lord. That those who become rich by dirty means, there will be an impending misery on your way. Your wealth has rotted away. Your clothes have become moth-eaten. Your gold and silver have corroded. Listen to this. You, you have stored up treasure for the last days. dami ka nang nakatagong pera dyan. Especially these past days of pandemic. If you made money from these things that are happening, guys, listen to this. You have withheld from the workers their wages. Yung para sa tao sana, tinabi mo sarili mo. The Lord speaking. You have, these are the cries of the harvesters have reached the ears of the Lord of hosts. Mayroon po mga kasalanan, sins of, against justice, that cry out to heaven. Mga Many who have lived in luxury and pleasures, you have fattened your hearts for your day of slaughter. Pinataba mo lang sarili mo to be slaughtered in the end. Siguro po, mahirap pakinggan, but it has to be said because the Lord is very clear. Putuli mo na yan. Yun lang ang nagiging dahilan na You have to be very radical. There are clear and present dangers to your soul, then cut it all. Mayroon po mga tao kasi yung kwan eh. Ano ba tawag yung mga apartment o yung housing unit na single detached? People, some people go through life so single and detached. Mayroon ding Married, pero detached pa rin. Kasi it's all about Him pa rin. What does it mean? Yung selfishness po natin, we are detached from, from the needs of people because it's all about me. We pray to the Lord today, Lord, change our hearts. Sana wag nang punuin, nang punuin ng, ang isip namin, mag gusto namin malaman lahat, malaman kung anong nangyayari kat kanino. Mapuno ang aming mga bulsa, pero ang mga puso namin, Lord, empty. Wala si Lord, o nandiyan man katiting, at wala tayong talagang malasakit. Lalong-lalo na sa mga naghihirap, the last, the lost, and the least. Sisters and brothers, it's your choice. Make a choice. You have no one, I have no one to blame in the end, except me if I did not make the right choice. 
Today, let's make a choice to live for God. Live with principles based on the God Bible and follow the commandments. Diba? We are very, very careful ngayong COVID. Tignan nyo, you are so aware. Eh. Teka muna, baka may COVID siya. Baka may COVID ako. So what do we do? Protect yourself. How do you protect yourself? I mean sa atin, face mask, washing hands, distancing. The same against sin. Temptation. Dapat may face mask tayo, panlaban sa temptation. Magugas tayo ng kamay, go to confession, acknowledge our sinfulness, and distancing. Alam mong, kunwari, nagpapasting ka, anong gagawin mo? Nandun yung refrigerator. Alam mo, paglalapit ka doon, bubuksan mo, eh, mapapakain ka. So baka pwede mong <laughs> italing sarili mo pagdating sa refrigerator, hindi mo na maabot. Ayan, mayroon ng barrier. Kanya-kanya pong discard yan. Padre Pio has a very simple analogy when it comes to temptations. Remember, the devil is like a dog on a leash. Nakatali yan. As long as you don't come close, hindi ka niya maabot, you're free. Pero pag nilapitan mo yan, at hindi lang nilapitan, hinanap mo pa siya. Yun na. Lead us not to temptation. Ano pong temptations? Pera, power, pride, pleasures. So let's pray. Sana yung vigilance natin sa COVID, ganun din ang vigilance natin sa kasalanan. And one more thing. Don't forget, COVID is not just about defenses. It's about strengthening your immune system. Yung vitamins mo, kain, and, 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 no stress as much as possible. Si pag napasyado ka ng stress, that's where sickness comes in. Strengthen your immune system and keep away from negative thoughts. So yun po ang depensa natin. Not only outside, but in us. The same with against temptations po. You have to, number one, develop a prayer life. The sun. Somebody said, when temptations come knocking, you just pray and flee. Dasal at alis ka na. Lumayo ka. Ano yung, ano yung kanta nun? Oh, tukso. Kapitan mo ako? Ay, ano, layuan mo ako. Yan ang problema. Tayo bakit gumakapit eh. Think about it. You have to develop your prayer life and also, don't have negative thoughts. Try your best. Stay free from negativities. Mga kapatid, please don't forget, we all will have an accounting with the Lord someday. Anong ginawa natin sa ating mga kamay? Speaking of which, especially po yung mga nagiging oportunista, Kung kailang kailangan kailangan na tao, doon pa sila ni nanakawan. I I know the feeling. You know why? I, I like to share with you. Nung bata po kami, wala pa po kaming awareness about nature, no? Magalang. Every boy in our province, in our town, our favorite pastime was maghanap ng mga ibon and palasiitan ni. You know, we were, what did we know about nature. And you know, I must tell you, whenever I think of those days, I, I, I shudder in shame. Nagawa ko yun. Walang kasalanan ng ibon. Basta may ibon, mayroon. Alam niyo ba yung kwan namin noon? Ang nandito? Hindi po scapular, hindi po rosary. Palsiit. Yung 
Kasi anytime na mayroon kang makita ng ibon, may bato ka na, tanggalin mo na yung kat, ready to shoot. We had no awareness. And I did not know what reason. Wala. For our pleasure lang. Mea culpa. Mea culpa. And you know, worse, I, one time, dinaanan ako ng kaibigan ko. Sabi, Jerry, ka na. Tayo sa school. School kasi kami pumunta eh. Umulan. Umuulan. Ngayon na. Ngayon na dapat. Sabi niya, alam mo, pag umuulan, yung mga ibon di makalipad. Nandyan lang sila, nangingini. That's the time we can catch them. Sumama po ako. I can never forget that. Kawawang ibon, defenseless, vulnerable. That's the time you pounce on them. Ito po ang mga kasalanan na ayaw na ayaw ng Panginoon. Please remember that. Whatever you do to the least of my brothers and sisters, you do that to me. Don't forget that, please. And what for? What all that money and the wealth you? What for? For whom? Sa mga anak, sa mga apo, sa great grandchildren. Hello. You, hindi na po kailangan yan. Magapati. This, this is something we should all remember today. We will all answer before God in the end. So, if your hands cause you to sin, cut it up. Meaning, it's better. It's better to experience sacrifices now than go to eternal punishment. So, dear brothers and sisters, ito pong isang bagay din na sinasabi ni Lord today to us. Whoever is not against us is for us. Pwede po ba huwag na tayo magsabi, ay iba siya, hindi siya ganito, hindi niya namin kasama yan. Let's work for unity. Let's not focus on positions but mission. Sana ganun, sana all. Anything or anyone that divides us, we don't need. Sana po Let's be more open. There's a little song you might have heard. Small circle, small circle, big circle. Yeah? Small circle, small circle, big circle. Yung mga small circle sana, nagiging big circle. In other words, inclusive tayo. Reconciliation. For the Lord. Hindi mo kami dito, dito kami. Problema kasi, single, detached. Some people who are even married but detached. It's all about yourself. So that give us, Lord, that heart to really be more aware, mindful of other people. Si Mama Mary po, October is the month of the Rosary. Siya pong tawagan natin. We ask Mama Mary to teach us to be generous. Mama Mary, ito pong hinihingi namin. Mama Mary, itawid po niyo kami sa kadiliman ng COVID-19. Mama Mary, please help us cross over. Itawid po niyo kami. And our second prayer, Mama Mary, itawid po niyo kami. Straighten our paths yung mga mali, baguhin sana namin. This is our prayer. We don't know how. Parang imposible na magbago, Father. Pray to Mama Mary. For yourself, for any loved one who needs conversion. Don't, don't stop praying for that person, please. Mama Mary, itawid po niyo kami sa aming mga paghihirap at ituwid po niyo kami sa aming mga kasalanan. This is our humble prayer. And we honor pala today San Lorenzo Ruiz on September 28th. Martyr. You know what a martyr is? Sacrifice so much, even life. Lahat naman tayo may martyrdom. So tanong po ngayon sa Misa, what have you sacrificed for the Lord?
Kapatid, this moment, ano yung hinding-hindi mo parang mabitaw-bitawan na napaka-attach ka? Could be could be things. Just pause for a while. It could be people. It could be your achievements. You're so attached. Could be your properties, your image, whatever. It could be relationships. Lord, we ask you, sana po, give us the grace to let go if you ask for it. If it's not good for us, help us to let go. Kung makakasama po talaga, sana po, mag-let go na po kami. Help us to sacrifice. Help us to let go and to let God. We trust, Lord, in what you said. The chastisements are not for punishment, but because you are close to us and you want us to be closer to you. Salamat po, Panginoon. Please bless us all. Stay with us. Amen, Lord. And amen. Kapatid, you have two hands. Left, the right. Hold them up high. Sana po, clean and bright. And we clap them, we use them, our hands, to, to praise God. Sana yung kamay natin, di lang yung, it's all about us. Praising God and helping people. Clean little hands are good to see. Surrender everything, everyone, oh Lord. Amen, Lord. Amen.